Did you know that subtle manipulation can creep into your relationships without you even realizing it? Many of us have experienced moments where we felt our voices were silenced or our choices were undermined, often masked as friendly advice or concern. But understanding these dynamics is crucial for maintaining healthy relationships and safeguarding our emotional well-being. In this video, we're diving deep into the signs of toxic behaviors that can undermine your happiness and self-esteem. From persistent negativity to the impact of cruel humor, we'll explore how these traits manifest and how they can affect your mental health. If you want to foster positive connections and protect yourself from harmful influences, you need to recognize these red flags. Join us as we uncover the hidden patterns of manipulation and disrespect that can sabotage your relationships. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped with the knowledge to stand strong against these detrimental behaviors and cultivate an environment of respect and positivity in your life. 1. Recognizing constant criticism. Imagine for a moment the joy of sharing your latest achievement with friends or colleagues. The excitement bubbling within you as you recount the hard work and dedication that led to your success. Maybe it was a promotion, an art piece you've created, or even mastering a new skill. Everyone is smiling, encouraging, and genuinely happy for you. That feeling of warmth, support, and celebration is what we all crave in our relationships. But what happens when that joy is met with a critical eye? You might remember a time when a friend or a co-worker met your news with a dismissive remark. Perhaps something like, that's nice, but you could have done better. At that moment, that initial happiness begins to fade. You feel a weight on your shoulders, a sense of doubt creeping in as you replay their words in your mind. Constant criticism can sap your confidence turning moments of celebration into feelings of inadequacy. It's not just a single remark, it's a pattern. This kind of behavior often stems from jealousy or insecurity within the critic. They project their feelings onto you, making it seem as though your successes are somehow lesser, and it can feel like walking on eggshells, constantly worrying about how they will react to your next triumph. As you reflect on these experiences, you might find yourself feeling nostalgic. Perhaps you think back to childhood, when encouragement flowed freely from parents, teachers and friends. Remember the sense of wonder when someone praised your art, your math skills, or even your athletic prowess? Contrast that with the sharp sting of those who seem to take pleasure in pointing out flaws. This juxtaposition highlights how detrimental constant criticism can be, not only to our self-esteem, but also to our relationships. When we crave validation and support, but are met with a barrage of negativity, it can leave us feeling isolated and confused. It's curious to consider why some people engage in constant criticism. Is it a desire for control, a need to feel superior, Understanding the motivations behind such behavior can be the key to navigating these challenging dynamics. As you encounter these critics in your life, you may wonder how to protect your own happiness without succumbing to their negativity. This curiosity drives us to delve deeper into our relationships, challenging us to assess who truly supports us and who undermines our joy. 2. Identifying Lack of Empathy Think back to a time when a friend was going through a tough moment. Perhaps they faced a breakup, lost a job, or struggled with a personal issue. Remember the empathy you felt, the way you instinctively reached out to support them? That ability to connect, to understand someone else's pain and offer comfort is a beautiful aspect of our humanity. It fosters connection, love, and a sense of belonging. But what happens when you encounter someone who seems to lack that very empathy? Picture a conversation where you share your struggles, hoping for understanding. Instead of comfort, you're met with indifference or even mockery. You think you've got it tough. 
You should hear about my problems, they might say, brushing your feelings aside as if they don't matter. In that moment, the air becomes heavy with disappointment. You realize that your vulnerability has been met with an emotional wall, leaving you feeling isolated and unseen. Lack of empathy can manifest in many forms. Dismissive remarks, rolling eyes, or even complete disregard for your feelings. As you delve into these encounters, a wave of nostalgia may wash over you, reminding you of times when empathy was abundant. Perhaps you think of a favorite teacher who listened and cared, or a family member who always seemed to know when you needed a hug. These memories remind us of the beauty of connection, making the contrast with empathetic deficits even starker. The warmth of those past experiences amplifies the coldness you feel in the presence of someone who is emotionally unavailable. Your curiosity grows as you ponder why some people struggle to empathize. Is it a defense mechanism? A sign of their own unresolved issues? Understanding the root of this behavior can be illuminating. It raises questions about emotional intelligence and our capacity to relate to one another. Why do some individuals thrive on connection while others seem to distance themselves from it? This inquiry not only helps you navigate your relationships more effectively, but also empowers you to foster a supportive environment for yourself and those around you. 3. The Red Flags of Frequent Lies Think about the trust you build in relationships over time. When someone you care about shares a secret or opens up about their life, it deepens your bond, creating a tapestry of shared experiences. The beauty of that trust is built on honesty, transparency, and a mutual understanding. Now, imagine discovering that those threads are unraveling because the person you thought you could rely on has been weaving lies into the fabric of your connection. That feeling of betrayal can be gut-wrenching. Picture a situation where you hear a story from a friend, only to learn later that they've exaggerated, omitted crucial details, or outright lied. The disbelief washes over you. How could someone you care about be so deceptive? Initially, it may feel like a punch to the gut, and anger might simmer just below the surface. These frequent lies can create a chasm between you, fostering mistrust and anxiety. You might start questioning every interaction, replaying past conversations to identify any inconsistencies, feeling the weight of uncertainty settle in your heart. As you reflect on this, nostalgia creeps in. You may recall times when honesty was the norm, moments when you felt safe expressing your true self without fear of judgment or deceit. Those memories are bright spots in your mind, contrasting sharply with the shadow cast by dishonesty. Perhaps you think back to childhood friendships where promises were kept and secrets were safeguarded with care. Those innocent days seem so distant now, highlighting the emotional turmoil that frequent lies can create. This realization sparks curiosity. Why do people lie so easily? What drives someone to fabricate a story rather than embrace the truth? Exploring the motivations behind deceit can be revealing, leading to deeper insights into human behavior. You may wonder if it's rooted in fear, insecurity, or a need for validation. This curiosity invites you to examine your own relationships critically, encouraging you to seek out connections built on integrity and trust. As you navigate the complexities of these dynamics, understanding the implications of frequent lies becomes essential for protecting your emotional well-being. 4. Understanding Subtle Manipulation Think back to moments in your life when you felt your decisions were influenced by someone else, maybe in ways that were so slight you barely noticed. It could have been a friend suggesting a movie, subtly implying that your choice was inferior, or a partner who made a passing remark about your eating habits, leaving you second-guessing your dinner choices. 
These instances of subtle manipulation can often seem harmless on the surface, but they can deeply impact your confidence and sense of autonomy. As you reflect on these experiences, you might feel a mix of confusion and anger. You want to believe that your relationships are built on mutual respect and understanding, yet these small nudges can feel like a slow erosion of your freedom. Subtle manipulation is often insidious. It creeps into conversations disguised as advice or concern. Perhaps a coworker frequently offers helpful suggestions about how to handle your projects, but each suggestion feels more like a critique than support. This emotional tug of war can leave you feeling trapped, as if your voice and choices are continually overshadowed by someone else's agenda. This contemplation may lead to a wave of nostalgia, reminding you of times when your voice felt strong and your decisions felt wholly yours. Maybe you think of childhood games where your choices were celebrated and encouraged, a stark contrast to the doubt instilled by manipulative behavior. Those memories illuminate the sense of empowerment you once felt, a state that becomes obscured in the presence of manipulation. Your curiosity naturally grows as you seek to understand why people engage in subtle manipulation. Is it a desire for control, a reflection of their insecurities? This inquiry can provide valuable insights prompting you to examine your own boundaries and the dynamics of your relationships. By recognizing these patterns, you can develop strategies to counteract manipulation, reclaiming your autonomy and reinforcing your self-worth. 5. Dealing with consistent disrespect. Consider the impact of being consistently disrespected in your relationships, whether it's from a family member, friend or colleague, Initially, you might brush it off, a sarcastic comment here, a dismissive glance there. But over time, the accumulation of disrespect can weigh heavily on your heart. Imagine sharing your thoughts in a group setting only to be met with laughter or eye rolls. That feeling of being belittled can slowly chip away at your confidence, turning your voice into a whisper. As you process these feelings, you may find yourself reflecting on the importance of respect in your life. Think of the moments when you felt valued, when your opinions were met with consideration and appreciation. Those experiences shine a light on what's missing in your current interactions. The stark contrast between respect and disrespect can evoke nostalgia for relationships where communication flowed freely and kindness was the norm. In this emotional landscape, you might also feel a growing curiosity. Why do some people feel entitled to disrespect others? Is it rooted in their own insecurities or past traumas? Understanding the motivations behind this behavior can be empowering, offering insights that help you navigate these challenging dynamics. You may begin to explore strategies for setting boundaries and advocating for yourself. This exploration can lead to a deeper understanding of your own self-worth, enabling you to demand the respect you deserve. 6. The dangers of isolation from friends and family. Picture a time when you felt completely connected to your friends and family, sharing laughter, support and love. Those moments create a beautiful tapestry of relationships that enrich your life, making it vibrant and fulfilling. But what happens when you find yourself pulled away from those connections? Isolation can creep in subtly, often masked as caring behavior from those who claim to have your best interests at heart. You may remember a time when someone close to you suggested that you should focus on your relationship or career, subtly nudging you away from social gatherings or long-standing friendships. At first, it might feel like a valid concern, but gradually, you realize you're becoming isolated, trapped in a bubble that limits your interactions and support systems. The loneliness sets in, and the vibrant colors of your social life fade to gray. As you reflect on these experiences, nostalgia may wash over you, reminding you of the joy that comes from sharing your life with others. You recall gatherings filled with laughter, celebrations of milestones, and the simple pleasure of spending time with loved ones. 
Those cherished memories stand in stark contrast to the feelings of isolation, amplifying the emotional toll it can take. Your curiosity about the reasons behind this isolation may grow. Is it a manipulation tactic? A form of control? Understanding the motivations behind this behavior can empower you to take action, rekindling the connections that nourish your spirit. Exploring ways to break free from isolation and re-establish your support network can lead to a more fulfilling and balanced life where love and connection thrive once again. 7. Explosive anger as a warning sign. Think back to a moment when you encountered explosive anger in someone close to you. Perhaps it was during a disagreement or even a minor inconvenience, and suddenly their reaction was disproportionate, shouting, throwing things or saying hurtful words. In that moment, you might have felt a mix of fear and disbelief, grappling with the realization that this person, whom you thought you knew, was capable of such outbursts. These experiences can evoke a range of emotions. Initially confusion, as you try to comprehend what triggered such an intense response. But as time passes, that confusion often morphs into a more profound concern for your safety and well-being. Explosive anger can create an environment filled with tension and uncertainty, where every conversation feels like a minefield, and you constantly walk on eggshells, afraid to provoke another outburst. Nostalgia may seep in as you reflect on healthier communication styles from your past. Think of moments when disagreements were handled with respect and understanding, where differing opinions could coexist without fear of retaliation. Those memories stand in stark contrast to the chaos of explosive anger, illuminating the emotional safety you once felt. This contrast fuels your curiosity about the underlying causes of such behavior. What drives someone to respond with rage instead of reason? Is it unresolved trauma, stress, or a lack of coping mechanisms? Understanding the roots of explosive anger can empower you to protect yourself and establish boundaries. By recognizing the warning signs early, you can safeguard your emotional well-being and seek healthier dynamics in your relationships. 8. Recognizing guilt-tripping techniques. Imagine sharing your plans with a friend, only to be met with a heavy sigh and a remark like, I guess I'll just be here alone then. That feeling of guilt can wash over you instantly, turning your excitement into doubt. Guilt-tripping is a subtle yet powerful manipulation technique that preys on your sense of responsibility towards others. It's a way of making you feel like you owe someone your attention or support, even at the cost of your own needs and desires. As you contemplate these experiences, a mix of frustration and sadness may arise. You might think of times when you felt obligated to prioritize someone else's feelings over your own, wrestling with the burden of guilt that weighed heavily on your shoulders. This emotional tug of war can drain your energy and self-esteem, leaving you feeling like a puppet on strings, constantly trying to appease others while neglecting your own happiness. Nostalgia can seep in as you remember relationships where communication was open and direct. You might think back to moments when it felt okay to say no without the fear of upsetting someone. Those memories highlight the importance of mutual respect and understanding, making the current guilt-tripping dynamics even more painful. Your curiosity may also prompt you to explore the roots of guilt-tripping. Why do some people resort to this behavior? Is it a sign of insecurity or a way to control others? 9. Persistent negativity. A toxic trait. Recall a time when you shared your dreams and aspirations with someone, only to be met with a barrage of what-ifs and negative predictions. That initial excitement, that fire in your belly, is quickly snuffed out by a constant stream of pessimism. Persistent negativity can be incredibly draining, creating an emotional environment where optimism feels out of place. As you process these experiences, feelings of frustration may bubble up. 
You might remember instances where your enthusiasm was met with skepticism, leaving you feeling diminished and questioning your own abilities. It's disheartening when someone consistently casts a shadow over your aspirations, turning your passion into self-doubt. The contrast between the joy of dreaming big and the heaviness of persistent negativity highlights the toxic nature of such interactions. Nostalgia may strike as you reflect on relationships where positivity flourished. Perhaps you recall a mentor who believed in you, offering encouragement and support that fueled your ambitions. Those uplifting moments serve as a stark reminder of the power of positivity, amplifying the emotional toll of surrounding yourself with negativity. Curiosity can guide you to explore why some individuals adopt a negative outlook. Is it rooted in their own struggles or a defense mechanism to cope with uncertainty? Understanding these motivations can empower you to distance yourself from toxic negativity, surrounding yourself instead with individuals who uplift and inspire you. By seeking out positive influences, you can cultivate an environment that nurtures your dreams and well-being. 10. The Impact of Cruel Humor and Verbal Abuse Picture a time when someone made a joke at your expense, a remark disguised as humor but laced with malice. In that moment, laughter fills the room, but you feel a knot tightening in your stomach. Cruel humor can be deeply hurtful, revealing a lack of respect and understanding for others' feelings. It can create a hostile environment where individuals feel unsafe and demeaned, leading to emotional scars that linger long after the laughter fades. As you contemplate these experiences, you may feel a mix of anger and sadness. It's disheartening to realize that someone you care about would use humor as a weapon, belittling you under the guise of a joke. Each instance chips away at your self-esteem, fostering a sense of shame and vulnerability. You might find yourself withdrawing from social interactions, fearful of becoming the target of cruel humor again. Nostalgia may arise as you think back to moments when laughter brought people together, where jokes were shared in a spirit of camaraderie rather than cruelty. Those memories of genuine humor, where everyone felt uplifted and included, stand in stark contrast to the emotional fallout from verbal abuse. This contemplation can spark curiosity about why some individuals resort to cruel humor. Is it a reflection of their own insecurities? A misguided attempt to fit in? Understanding these motivations can provide clarity and empower you to set boundaries. Recognizing that humor should never come at the expense of another's dignity can guide you in fostering healthier relationships built on respect and kindness. In wrapping up our exploration of toxic behaviors, it's clear that recognizing these red flags is essential for preserving your emotional health and fostering healthier relationships. By understanding the signs of manipulation, disrespect and negativity, you're taking a significant step toward creating a more positive environment for yourself and those around you. If you've watched this far, drop a comment with a hundred to show you're part of the 0.01% who truly commit to personal growth. Remember, if you're serious about transforming your life and cultivating meaningful connections, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more insights and support on your journey. Your commitment today can lead to a brighter tomorrow.